Hello, welcome to Pathogonia. This is Jay Huang. Today we're going to talk about sclerosing pneumocytoma. Before we begin, here are my acknowledgments for this presentation. Sclerosing pneumocytoma is seen in a wide age range from 11 to 80 years old. It is female predominant and more commonly seen in Eastern Asian populations. The pathogenesis is unknown at this time, but thought to arise from primitive pulmonary epithelium. Radiologically, you'll see a well-circumscribed mass where the majority are less than 3.5 centimeters, but it can range from 1 to 8 centimeters, and it may show calcifications. Gross appearance, you'll see a well-circumscribed solid mass, and upon serial sectioning, you'll see gray tan to yellow parenchyma with focal regions of hemorrhage. It may have cystic degeneration and calcifications. This is courtesy of Radiopedia. We can see a well-circumscribed solid mass near the pulmonary vasculature, and as you can see here, in this case, there are no calcifications. Histology, the key is the dual population of cells. You'll have cuboidal surface cells that look like type 2 pneumocytes, and then you'll have small round stromal cells with central nuclei and fine chromatin plus or minus small nucleoli. Architecturally, you can have predominantly hemorrhagic, papillary, sclerotic, solid. IHC, both the surface and stromal cells will be positive for EMA and TTF1. Pancytic keratin will be positive in the cuboidal surface cells, but negative or weakly positive in the stromal cells. The neuroendocrine markers will be negative. And that's important because your differential includes carcinoid, where your neuroendocrine markers will be positive, and papillary adenocarcinoma, which you wouldn't have this dual population of cells where only the surface cells stain positive for cytokeratin. So here's a low power image of a sclerosing pneumocytoma courtesy of the WHO 5th edition, where you have three architectural patterns, sclerotic, solid, and papillary. This is another sclerosing pneumocytoma where the predominant architecture is hemorrhagic. And let's delve closer into these cells surrounding the hemorrhage. You can see your surface cuboidal cells resembling your type 2 pneumocyte, as well as your stromal cells, your round stromal cells. Another image, your surface cuboidal cells and your, your round stromal cells. And this is another case where it's predominantly uh, hemorrhagic as well. And here, you also have your surface cuboidal cells as well as your round stromal cells. In this case, it looks there's more clearing in this particular case. And this is another example of a sclerosing pneumocytoma. You can see these large cells that catch your eye with this high NC ratio. So these are multinucleate giant cells and they're formed from the fusion of the surface cells. So let that not confuse you and just know that this can happen for sclerosing pneumocytoma. And here, courtesy of the WHO 5th edition, you have this biphasic pattern of cytokeratin where it'll stain positive the surface cuboidal cells but not the round stromal cells. So hope you learned something about sclerosing pneumocytoma. Please give a like and subscribe. Thank you.